everyone, so welcome to this week's vlog. So today I'm in Bristol and I'm here to meet Susanna Cole. Now if you're into property or you've even considered kind of going into property developing or are generally just interested in property, then you probably know who she is already. So she is the founder of The Good Property Company. Now in a very short space of time, she has um, basically built up an incredible portfolio of properties and I'm here to interview her, but also to be part of one of her workshops. Now she is really well known in the industry, really well respected. Um, and you know, we sell, we're, we're selling our house, sold our house, however you want to say it, um, and we're buying another one, and we're just thinking, you know what, we want to be quite smart about it, and we want to know kind of what we're buying, um, the reasons why we're buying a particular type of place, what we can do to kind of maximise the potential of it, and yeah, I'm here to see her, so excited. Anyway, I better go, because as usual, I'm running late. Not too late, just a couple of minutes late, so I've um, got to go, and plus I am busting for the toilet. Okay, see you on the other side. Today we're going to learn how to buy to sell. So buy to sell is really a strategy, like I love it, but it, because I'm a keeper at the end of the day, it's really a strategy that you want to get in there and do a number of buy to sells to turn them around, to get the money back out again, to get the money back into your bank account in order to buy to keep. To do it all right. Oh, yes. okay, okay. Yes. So that's kind of the strategy that is the focus for today. Buy to sell, learning how to buy houses, learning how to renovate houses, learning how to put them on the market, thinking about the seven Ps in terms of marketing, uh -huh. thinking about your customer segmentation, thinking about how you can post the house up, thinking about the seven stages, so you're buying it, you're sourcing it, you're financing it, you're refurbing it, you're um, putting it back on the market, you're selling it, you're conveyancing it, and then you're reviewing. Right, so yeah, <laughs> kind of. So am I right in saying that it's a lot more involved than an emotional buy, i.e. Oh, I love yes. this house, X, for X, Y, Z reasons, you have to totally rethink. Totally, totally. I mean, I do think your emotional response to a house is useful, because if you have an emotional response to a house, then someone else will yeah. have an emotional yeah. response to a house. So the house that we're in just now, I love this house. Yeah, I'll show you. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. I'll happily live here. Yeah. Well, I just adore this house. So my emotional response was, I love this baby. Um, and so that's great because that's how someone else is going to behave. But then you have to kind of think financially, you have to think sensibly, you have to think streamlined. And one of the things about buy to sell that is quite tough to swallow as a new, a new person in property is you may not always want to do it as perfect as you would do it yourself. It doesn't mean to say that yes. you take shortcuts, no. but it does mean that you don't leave five or 10 or 15 grand on the table because yeah. that's not your job. Yeah. Your job is to make it just good enough, yeah. turn it, and then go on to the next one. Yeah. But, but never cutting corners, but still doing a just good enough job rather than maybe something you do mm. for your own home. Just tell the audience a little bit about you because I am genuinely quite addicted to Susanna's YouTube channel, <laughs> literally to the point where I probably need to stop. <laughs> because, Have a cup of tea. Yeah, because it's just constantly saying watched, 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 <laughs> watched. I get another 30 coming yeah. on. Oh, have you? Yes, yes. So tell everybody about you because you've had a very kind of a relatively quick succession to where you've got now in yes. comparison to a lot of people. And so, you saw that, didn't you? When you came in, I was like, hi, just got two or three things to do. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. I think it is about pace a lot of the time. So I started seven years ago now um, oh. and I jumped out of my job after 18 months. Wow. Um, and I had 60 grand of a mortgage and I just took that out. And then I just intended to buy some houses, make sure my family and I were safe because I adore property. I mean, I used to go running and um, I would stop running and just look in the window of a house, like oh, jogging on the spot, you know. <laughs> it's not really good for exercise, yeah. but it's brilliant for property yeah, knowledge. Yeah. And then uh, certain things changed in the market, so things like the six month rule where um, for mm. a kind of a normal buy to sell house you can't refinance within six months. Yes. It just meant that I couldn't go fast enough with my little 60 grand. I mean, if you've got 60 grand, that's fabulous, but it's not necessarily going to buy your multi-million pound portfolio uh -huh. immediately. And so as a result, I then raised money, I raised 600,000 initially from private investors, bought a portfolio, jumped up my job, went into property full time and started the Good Property Company. But it was literally, I mean, I guess what I'm trying to see, if 
your position was no different than mine, no. somebody else's. No. It can be done. Totally. Now, I've, I've been up against a few obstacles, Susanna, you say, because... You know, I'm a TV, I'm a TV producer, and it's yes. kind of a it is a hectic job. It's full yeah. on, um, but it's also very unstable. So yeah. it's kind of like you have highs and lows, look pretty much like everyone, I guess. But I've had a lot of people say, "Well, if it was that easy, everybody, everybody would, would be, be doing, doing it." And yes. I'm like, wouldn't, wouldn't, yeah, well, I could say that about my own career, yeah, exactly. and I've still kind of done okay for myself. Yeah. Um, but what what do you say to people that say that to you? Keep on going. Um, it is tough at times, and I think one of the things in property is um, that you get moments where you're on the floor because it is, again, kind of strong highs and lows, particularly at the beginning when there's an awful lot that you don't know, and yet you're making some really big decisions mm. that are financially quite large. Yeah. You know, for me, we buy and sell houses every week now, and I'm kind of less wobbled by that. But in the early days, you know, every house I bought, I'd like not sleeping the night before mm. because I think that's normal, and it would be weird if you didn't have that attitude to risk. So I think the thing that you really need is grit. You know, they say knock down seven, get up eight. Um, so number one is grit. <laughs> and just hang in there, you know, have friends to phone. How scared are you? Yep, totally terrified. Yeah. You know, how many nights have you not slept? Five. Yep, me neither. You know, I definitely had all of that. Did you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's really weird because obviously, you know, my husband and I got married only a year ago. So we okay. kind of like, we, you know, we haven't started a family or anything yet. And we're kind of think, thinking... Now is the, probably the best time that yes. we can do it because when you have children, I'm sure, although it's not impossible, but they come into play way yes. more. You know, at the moment yes. it's just my husband and I, and if we have to sleep on the floor of a building site, we'll You'll so be it. it. Yes. <laughs> it's just the two of us. There are three resources, aren't there? Time, money, and skills. And out of the three, like, you would think that money was the game changer because that's often the thing that when we start, we don't have maybe enough of. Mm -hmm. Or uh, as you continue as a property developer, you'll continue to realise you never have enough no. of because there are always <laughs> more deals than money. Yeah, I can because imagine. If you generate deals like we do, you know, they're always there. But actually, time is the game changer. Yeah. So I think for you, that's one of the challenges yeah. because your job is quite long hours, it's carving out time. So if I backtracked, for me, um, I'm just so lucky my friends were really nice because I just didn't have a social life for about 18 months, you yeah. know. No telly, went to the gym, uh, worked 30 hours a week on property on top of my day job and looking after my family. And and I don't, I can't really sugarcoat it that, you know, you have to put the time yeah. in. And then the other thing I would say is fast as you possibly can, try and um, almost create an operation manual. Once you've done something once, you don't need to repeat it without going, how did we do that? Yeah, here we go. Mm -hmm. So as fast as you can, try and create what I would call a scalable business. Because if you can create an operation manual, then someone else can actually operate the operation for you next time. Yeah. And that's right. Yeah. Every still time. got a lot to learn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already thinking, like, oh, maybe that one's not a good idea. Okay, right, well, I suppose we've got to get into the workshop. Okay, and then we'll um, reconvene after. Yes. See you. <gasps> so cool. dead. Thank you. because it's like 3D. If it was just you and I, you'll learn 2D, but if you if it's 3D, then they're gonna learn from every question you ask, yeah. and you're gonna learn from every question they Absolutely, ask. Absolutely, yeah. So just, it cubes all your yeah. answers, which yeah. is really important. There's so much learning. Oh, I'm not done learning, I'm no. not done learning. Oh, Susanna, thank you enough. Honestly, I, I go here, 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 I go